what, what I see the more that I'm involved in this training is the more that I can just, just completely relax and just to be exactly as I am without needing to contrive or effort or pretend or work or I can just be myself exactly as I am and such a beautiful way to live without any need for contrivance or pretension or frameworks or referencing old ideas about who I am and the way I need to be and the way other people are and how I need to respond the more I relax and allow myself to be exactly as I am the more I align myself with the completely spontaneous nature of reality in a, a completely effortless way and what's incredible is that as we relax more and more and allow ourselves to be exactly as we are then this spontaneous reality is revealed in all its magnificence because it is purely beneficial everything you sense, everything you feel everything you think, everything you experience is this shine of mind this data of open intelligence and open intelligence is simply what's looking through your eyes the capacity to know if you stop thinking for a moment, there it is. There's this cognizance, this alertness, this capacity to know. And so with the simple instruction of short moments of just relaxing and, and acknowledging or noticing the openness of your intelligence, then very gently we become aligned with the spontaneous nature of reality. So the shift comes from the total emphasis and focus on all of the data, on our descriptions, our thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences and it, it very gently and naturally shifts to emphasizing the open intelligence that contains all of this data, that effortlessly shines forth all of this data and the importance and the power of this shift is that we go from a life that is full of tension and anxiety of trying to make sense of everything that's going on, trying to somehow navigate our, our life based on these ever-changing and completely dynamic descriptions to basing our life and our relating on the open intelligence that is always on, completely stable and the actual essence of all of the data. So it's a shift from one of just complete instability, tension and hard work, working hard at trying to see who we are, how we react, working everything out, understanding everything, analysing everything, hypersensitive to everything that's going on around us and within us, to one of complete relaxed potency. Because when we're relaxed, we're actually very, very potent we're allowing our own spontaneous wisdom just to shine forth and it's the wisdom of everything exactly as it is. So this is the power of complete relaxation. We're recognizing the actual nature of our thoughts, emotions and sensations as nothing but beneficial potency, the beneficial potency of spontaneous reality. Everything appearing in a completely spontaneous way and then resolving naturally the simultaneous appearance and resolution of all data without us needing to do anything. So by relaxing we align ourselves with this spontaneous reality. Now right now when you stop thinking for a moment and you just recognize open intelligence there's so much going on, it's so dynamic if you just relax your mind and your body for an instant and you feel all of this tingling energy going right the way through all of your fingers and toes, everything inside you all doing everything it's doing, all around you, all of the senses, the birds you can hear, the gentle breeze you can feel, the thoughts you're thinking, the emotions just doing whatever they're doing and it's all happening in a completely spontaneous way. It doesn't need us to go in and interfere with it. Even though that is exactly what we've been trained to do. 
So when something like fear comes up, then we have been trained to immediately jump on that particular feeling or thought. I feel really afraid right now. And from there we've been trained to analyse and work out and to label and describe each, each perception, each datum. And in that labelling and describing, what we're trying to do is to give this fear or give this label some kind of independent nature. And as we describe it and we go into the story about why we feel afraid and how we always feel afraid and how we hate feeling afraid and how being afraid restricts us and limits us in so many ways, suddenly there's this big monster called fear. But in a short moment of relaxing and recognising that this whole experience of fear, including all of the descriptions around it, are also nothing but the shine of mind, nothing but beneficial potency, then everything shifts. We can find open intelligence as the essence of fear. Fear becomes our friend, not in some contrived way of trying to welcome it or do anything with it, but by recognizing it to be exactly what it is. This open intelligence, this dynamic energy, this spontaneous reality. And in there, we respond in a completely spontaneous and beneficial way. So I see a snake on the path and there's this rush of energy, this rush of adrenaline that I could start to begin to label as fear. But actually, I just step back naturally and easily. There's this spontaneous reaction that doesn't need to be rushed, it happens in its own perfect time, but it does include also acting in very dynamic and uh, direct ways if that's what's required. But also there is this ease of seeing that also the fear may arise, well perhaps it's just a fear that I actually used to feel afraid a lot of the time and it was a kind of unknown fear. Sometimes I'd try and associate it with different things, but there was just this, this sense of fear. And what I see now is that really this was just a fear of data. The fear of the unpredictability of experience. Now, never knowing what's going to happen next. Now that hasn't changed in the least. I still have no idea what's going to happen next. But what has changed is my certainty and assurance that whatever happens, open intelligence is there. Open intelligence is what I can rely on. All of the data doing their incredible dance, doing whatever they're doing, and open intelligence, the essence and basis and foundation of all of them. So deeply knowing that, having this instinctive recognition, automatically gives you a, a sense of stability and assurance and security because everything is completely unpredictable apart from the fact that it is open intelligence by which you know each and every datum. The datum are the dynamic expression of open intelligence itself. So that unknown fear has really just settled out for me. It's um, it's no longer this monster that's lurking just behind me that somehow is just about to jump on me and get me. Instead, there's a, a capacity just to enjoy the spontaneous nature of reality with this confidence in knowing that I will know how to respond. And sometimes it's in the most challenging circumstances that that is really affirmed most potently. And... Um, because we can have easy going days where there's not a lot going on and it's great to train up open intelligence there and you can utilize the short moments when everything's going really well, when you're relaxing here or relaxing on the beach or, or doing whatever you're doing and you know everything seems to be going quite well. That's a great opportunity to, to, to really gain more assurance. One short moment at a time, each short moment of allowing everything to be as it is. Getting to know the positive data as open intelligence too. But then there's the rest of the ways that you can train up, you can participate in the trainings. These written trainings that really evoke this recognition. There's a, a media table at the back that is just <coughs> packed full of talks that we can put on any device that you have. And you can take those away and listen to them and, and they evoke this instinctive recognition and this assurance. There's books you can read. 
that do nothing that speak that do nothing but speak about the nature of reality as it is evoking this instinctive recognition you can develop a relationship with a trainer to really explore how this looks in your particular life circumstances. So there's all these things we can do to train up this assurance and then when we're faced with a situation or a circumstance where suddenly we do feel this incredible rush of fear it is open intelligence that kicks in. It is open intelligence that we know we can rely on because we've been training it up when it's been easy for us. And um, my own experience has been in the challenging circumstances, that's where open intelligence is sometimes most obvious. Because not only can I enjoy everything when it's going really well, but I also have this incredible capacity to react in complete spontaneity to a challenging circumstance, to a difficult circumstance, to a circumstance that not only makes me afraid but fills me with terror. And I've seen this in my own experience and it's, it's incredible. <laughs> This is the power that we're learning to utilize. And it's a power that um, is naturally available for the benefit of all. So this obsessive self-focus and self-concern just naturally relaxes. Each, each short moment of allowing everything to be as it is simply aligns us with the completely open nature of reality, the open nature of our intelligence. It's open like a clear sky. The data, they come and they go, and it's, they're like the flight path of a bird in the sky. They don't leave a trace in this pristine, open nature of mind. And we discover that for ourselves each short moment. We allow the data to do whatever they're doing, rather than jumping on them and focusing on them and analyzing them and indulging them and avoiding them and replacing them. And da -da 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 it's just constant work. So the effortless way of living, the effortless way of just allowing ourselves to be exactly as we are, is where we find our most potent capacity as a human being. This is where everything comes alive. So perhaps it might seem that sometimes people are a little slower, but what I see for myself is that um, well, like a snake, a snake might appear to be moving very slowly, but there is incredible power there. And when it strikes, it strikes with incredible speed and precision. And that's exactly the same kind of potency that we tap into. And so get to know this about yourself. This is the, the most important education and information that you could possibly come across, across because it it infuses and pervades all of your life circumstances, all of your data. So the more familiar you become with the nature of mind, the more potent you become in all circumstances, the more relaxed and at ease you become in all circumstances. When you're relaxed, you're able to respond with just whatever's needed in a completely open-hearted, easy-going, but powerful way. So that's what you want, that's what I wanted. And I always wanted that. I wanted to be relaxed, easygoing, but also to be able to contribute. Also to understand the nature of reality. And so in this educational system of the four mainstays, all of these things are trained up, inexhaustibly. There's no end. It just continues to shine brighter and brighter. More and more potency, more and more real, more and more ease.